guys, welcome. This is Sewing News Live. I'm Angela Wolf, and look who I have with me today, Emily Thompson from Life So Savory. So today we are talking about a couple cool things that are happening on the Brother blog, which one is the New Year's Eve project. And Emily, I believe you are the first project. Up. <laughs> Yes, I just took a look and mine's the only project up. So I would say I'm the first. No pressure at all, of course. So nope. today, today we are live on YouTube and Facebook, live streaming. I'm monitoring comments on Facebook. So if you're on YouTube, I will check your comments later. So sorry, I can't see both at the same time. But as the Wolfpack knows, we are testing a new software today. So fingers crossed that this works and I can see your comments. Hey, Kelly, give me just a, give us just a quick second and give us the love and tell us that you can hear us okay, see us okay. Um, Emily loves to be the experiment on this, but she's a tech girl, so she gets it. <laughs> I've done the same thing, tested new things all the time. They're all here. Marcy, the whole group is rolling in, so awesome. So Emily, for those that don't know you, I'm just going to bring your website up here for a second, but why don't you just tell everyone just a little snippet about yourself because um, you have some really cool things, but I know you have a lot going on. So if you don't mind just giving just a little bit about what you do and how you got started. Yeah. So I've had a website for um, just over 10 years and I started it when I was pregnant with my second son and being a stay at home mom and just looking for a creative outlet. Also, it was the time when like craft mommy blogs were super popular. So I just started one and I called it Naptime Creations. And I did just like pure hobby and I just would throw up whatever I was working on around the house and it was really bad. But then a few years into it, I realized, you know, I'm spending all this time doing it and um, I really wanted to like focus on something. And at the time I had two little boys. And so I really focused on sewing for kids. And um, since then we've adopted a daughter. So I have a six-year-old daughter, a nine-year-old son, an 11-year-old son. And my blog does mainly focus on sewing, but I've since branched out a little bit beyond kids to home decor, sewing for myself. I actually even have one men's pattern because my husband felt left out of all the <laughs> and um and now it's become so much more than just a hobby blog and i love it and i get to work from home and my schedule is flexible to be there for my kids when they need it um and i can you know help provide for my family so it's been a great opportunity and i've loved just seeing how it's grown and a few years ago i realized i had no one napping anymore so i changed my name to life so savory because i felt like it could encompass sort of everything. Sometimes I write about travel. Sometimes I write about food. I do a lot of sewing. So if you don't, so, you know, it's not the site for you, but I do also dabble in other things. And I just wanted the title to sort of reflect all those areas. So I love cheap sewing projects and I'm a mom and I know that sometimes there's not like a lot of extra money, you know, to buy super expensive fabric or really expensive patterns when you're just trying to you know, feed and clothe your children. And so I have a lot of just really basic free sewing patterns on my site for kids and a few for women and one for men. And um, I also like to upcycle fabric and reuse fabric. And I definitely shop fabric myself, um, but I also like to use tips for just, you know, doing things that don't cost a lot of money. So that's my main focus. Um, if you want to check it out, there's just tons of free sewing patterns and other, and a few for sale and lots of ideas for things to do for your family. So that's the two minute synopsis. <laughs> so I put your website up there again, and I'll put it up towards the end in case any of you missed that, but it, you might've met Melody or Melody. You might've, I'm looking at two different screens. You've yeah. met Emily before because she is yes. a brand ambassador for Brother, as I am, and she was here for the big event. You were one of the yes. first people in my studio, which is fantastic. Yeah. So <laughs> and the reason she didn't mind helping me test this new software is because when she was here was the first time I was using a different version of what I was using. And if you all recall, the screen went blue for like 20 minutes. But the Wolfpack yeah. is great. They just hung out and waited for us, right? <laughs> all right. Yeah. So. Let's talk about, I'm going to bring up the brother um, blog here. So let me just bring this up because there are some really cool things going on on this. So just one second here. 
I'm just going to add this. Here we go. Okay, so that one's not yours. I was scrolling through all the projects. If yeah. you guys have missed, if you go to Brother's Blog, and I'll put the website up here. There we go. Okay, so there are quite a few projects that have been going on for the last few weeks in case you've missed those, but now we are moving on to a really cool New Year's Eve project. And I thought it would be awesome to have you on here first because, well, here's the deal. When Emily was here and the whole brand ambassadors, everyone that could make it, and even ones that didn't make it, they're included in this project as well. Well, <laughs> we decided to do something really cool. And you can help me explain this, Emily, but we picked a color theme and we said, we are gonna have a different project for something for New Year's Eve, from home deck to garments to everything else. And let's see if we can piece this together. So none of us knew, we knew the topics, but we didn't know the fabric. So Emily and I both decided a garment, yeah. which I think is very cool. <laughs> and um, she did a, well, I'll let you go ahead. You say what you did and then I don't want to ruin it. Yeah, no, so I just did a simple tulle skirt and uh, my tutorial sort of covers it that you can make it at any size, whether for um, a child or for an adult, um, the directions will sort of translate. And um, I, a few years ago, swore I would never use glitter tulle again, but I broke that promise for this project because it just looks so fabulous when it's done, although it leaves glitter everywhere literally it's like you know on the ceiling when you're finished sewing but um so yeah so i made a line flitter skirt or, or tulle skirt so actually you um, or nylons or whatever you wanted underneath um but it's fully lined so you can't see through it so anyway i had a lot of fun and it turned out great and i really am super looking forward to so i think in december towards the end of the month all of our items are going to be put together and photographed with each other. So I actually don't have the skirt anymore because it's already sent off to the central location where they're going to be photographing it. But I'm excited to see everything put together as well. Okay, so I have to tell you, when I first clicked on here, I, I have it up on the screen now so everyone can see her adorable skirt. Yes. So my top is going on that skirt. And I have to tell you, we are going to match so well. And I did not know that you were going to use this glitter tool. And I actually, of course, have my tool um, removable tattoo sleeve. But our outfit is going to go together so well. I just can't, like, we must yeah. have had some premonition. We had the color scheme, navy, silver. Yeah. Was there any other colors in that? Or was it just navy and silver? You were giving me a little swatch. So I made sure that I you know, matched it with that color so that the navy, because sometimes navy can be a little bit off. So, um, but anyway, so yeah, I'm ex so excited to see this it all together. So when I first saw this photo, and you guys tell me if you feel the same way, I at first, because one of the big trends is like lit up clothes, <laughs> I, thought, I thought that you actually strung the lights in the skirt because it looks like that at first. I'm like, that is so cool. <laughs> That was me faking a holiday decor in my house that was probably currently decorated for summer at the time. <laughs> but um, yes, yeah, I know those lit up tool skirts are really fun. This one is not, it's not a light up, but. <laughs> <laughs> but it could be. So um, on here, do you wanna just tell them is it a little bit, I mean, I you guys can go to the blog and get everything off of here. You have such good instructions. You show what machines you're using, um, did, and it looks like you use the sewing machine and the serger. Do you want to just give a couple tips for this besides what's on the blog, like just verbally for somebody who wants to jump in, like if there's a specific lining that you like to use, or does it really matter? Yeah, I, I wanted to use a line that was a little bit slippery in fabric so that it, um, you know, if I was wearing another layer or leggings underneath that it wouldn't, you know, catch under there. So I actually can't even remember specifically, it was, it was a very inexpensive lining fabric that I purchased. It wasn't anything fancy. So I just made sure it was more like, you know, a sateen sort of um, feel. And then on this, I used, I just gathered the tool with, with actually gathered it with the serger instead of doing sort of your, you know, sewing and then pulling. And I love the even gathers that the serger, when you just gather straight on there, 
gives because gathering is not one of my favorite things. So <laughs> um, yeah, in the end, it really turned out well. And, you know, sewing all those layers together at the end is not really fun, but it's just kind of a go slow and it works. Okay, I'm looking at the uh, elastic that you have. I didn't even realize until I looked closely that that's that silver metallic, which is really cute. It's a silver metallic elastic, yes. And um, I cannot tell you where I got it because it's been in my stash for forever. In fact, I think it's one of the things that I stocked up on before we left Hong Kong. So um, three, two years ago, Two years and a little bit ago we moved from hong kong to colorado and before we left i went to the fabric markets there because they had great like street markets with tons of fabric things and stocked up on all those notions that are a little bit more expensive but there were dirt cheap so i'm pretty sure that's where that elastic came from um but i'm not even i'm not even sure that but cute. it's pretty it so we <laughs> yeah it really and, you know, we were talking about you this week. I'm going to bring this down for one second. Um, just here. There we go. Uh, we were talking about you this week because we were in at the Houston Quilt Show, Houston Quilt Fest. Yes. And a lot of people um, were purchasing the double cover stitch machine, the cover stitch machine. It has taken a few, a little while for that to catch on and realize how easy it is to use. And yes. for a shirt like this, a serger, you really don't need the cover stitch, but I know you are a major serging queen, <laughs> serging, double cover stitch, all of those things. So yes. on the double cover stitch, there were a lot of questions this week. So I'm going to change topic just for a minute, you guys. This is like a, not a squirrel. It was a planned squirrel. But they, brother has this attachment and I have it in the bag so you can see you can get it at a brother dealer. It's to do the binding. So I know that you have worked with this and I told a lot of the people that I saw this week in Houston that I'm bringing Emily on and she will say, cause I haven't tested it yet, but I will be soon. Uh, do you want to explain if you liked it, how easy it is to use and any tips? Yeah, so this, um, earlier this year, I asked brother if I could test, try out this um, binding attachment because I am, I do sew a lot of like tank tops and t-shirts and you know you always have to do the, the armholes and so i was wondering if this sort of um binding attachment would be easier than doing it you know my traditional way where you put the binding fold usually i end up just putting um more of a neckline and not doing the fold over binding because that takes more time if you don't have this attachment so i really have liked it it of course is just a one it's that one thickness. So if you wanted it thicker or thinner, then it doesn't really do that for you. But it gives you all the directions as far as how wide to cut your fabric and which direction to cut your fabric and then how to feed it in. And at this moment, I'm, I'm thinking you put it wrong side up, but I can't actually remember. So, you know, the directions do give you all that information. It's a few, probably been a month since I've used this. So I tend to forget these things oh, <laughs> um, in the interim. But Emily, when I have a foot like that, I have to keep I have to keep the foot in a box with the directions because you don't yeah. use it all the time. <laughs> every time. Yeah, every time I have to look it up. Um, so I did find it fairly easy to use. I will say I was trying to do a um, a knit fabric. I think it was like an organic cotton bamboo. So I don't know if you've used it, but it's pretty slippery a knit. Um, and it did not like if the shirt and the binding were that same fabric, it kept sliding out. So even though it is locked to your machine, I mean, you screw this right down. Um, for some reason, the fabric just really kept sliding out of place. But other than that, other knits and wovens, it sews perfectly. So that was the one thing that I was trying to do a tank top for my daughter out of this slipperier fabric knit, and it, it didn't like to play but other than that, um, yeah, it's super easy. And for, for going around um, necks and especially like top armholes, uh, it's really it's really quick and very easy. So, and I always like to sew my neck and arms in the flat anyway. Um, I know it's not as traditional method. Some people like to comment on my way of doing that. 
<laughs> where it's sewn in well, the round. But the directions are that you do need to do necklines and your arms with it open, and then you sew the side seams. Well, and that's the big thing. If you look at a lot of the garments in ready to wear, uh, they are sewn. You can always see one seam at the shoulder and one seam yeah. under here. And that is how, that's just how it works. Otherwise you can't get the whole full around and use that binding. So, I mean, yeah, whichever way you want to yeah. do it is cool, but, but it's definitely yeah. okay to do it that way. And a lot of people have said they want to finish the light, the necklines that way. It's so fast. So fast. that's why I do it. It's just so much faster than any other method. So um, there were a couple questions. Uh, what cover stitch machine do you use yeah. that one on? Uh, I have the double cover stitch, the 3550. So I okay. don't know if I've actually done it with the top looper and using that binding attachment. I've just done it with like two or three needle stitching, but I don't know why it also wouldn't work if you wanted like a super sporty look to do the top. Um, looper on it but I don't right, have actually now that I think about it, it you could use it because it doesn't actually that all it does is go in between the threads so I mean it really wouldn't make any difference yeah. it just depends how thick the fabric is but that's not even going no, through the fabric so. so Esther yes it would work on your no. machines She's wondering yes so it would um use it on I'm sorry I cut you off what'd you say oh I was just gonna say that is the machine that I'm using it on so yeah okay. it works great very cool. All right. So uh, I pulled, I have something uh, to show you. You might not even know this is coming up and I, uh, so I'm going to surprise you on this one. So I always ask brother, since the show is sponsored by brother, we are talking about the brother blog, the new products, which I'm just finishing unboxing the Stellaire. And I have to tell you that machine is so cool. I, a lot of people were wondering how you can do embroidery on that Stellaire. And I pulled out one of the smaller hoops because the big one wouldn't even fit in my screen, but you can see it has these icons here. And this is where you take a photo, which I'm doing videos on that. So we're not gonna discuss that. But one more thing <laughs> is that there are some, a few specials from Brother, but they have this project and ironically it's yours. So I'm going to bring this up and I'll give you guys the website for this. I think this is your adorable daughter. If I'm not mistaken, let's see. So here we go, here's the project. And you can download this project for free. It's Embroidery Holiday Jumper. This is yours, right, Emily? Oh, did, I, did she freeze for a sec? I'll bring her back up. Maybe. I think she froze for a second. We'll let it refresh so she can get back in. Um, so this is her jumper. This is so cute. And I'm gonna have her as soon as, um, she, oh, there you are. <laughs> okay, bringing you back up. Can you see okay, Emily? You back? I can see. Can you? There we go. Nope, we lost her. Oh, she's back. <laughs> oh, you gotta love the. You gotta love the live. Okay, I think you're back, yeah. Emily. Yeah. Okay, okay, this jumper yeah. is so Sorry. cute. That's yeah. all right. You know how live goes. So, <laughs> yeah. So I think I'm trying to think if this that is was your one daughter. or two years ago. I don't. It is on it. That's my daughter. And this was actually one of my very first embroidery projects that, because I had not dabbled in embroidery before I started working with brother. That was just, it was one more thing that I always was interested in, but just hadn't had the opportunity. So um, now I have fun embroidery machines and really a cute project to do and just a fun casual jumper. Um, this is one of the free patterns you can get on my site. So if you are interested in the jumper itself, that's a free download. And then I put the embroidery and that was one of the free patterns or the free embroidery things that comes on the machines. Most of them, I think. I don't know if I listed. I, you know, I, I remember that tree. You can also, I believe, get it on embroidery because I use that for a wine bag. It looks much cuter on your daughter, yeah. but... <laughs> It's such a great holiday time. So um, it, yes. I was just peeking at this and I want to just make sure everyone has the website for this that you can download this. Let me make sure I have the right one up here. Yeah. Brothersows.com forward slash holiday jumper. And 
her daughter is not included in the package, <laughs> but make sure that when you make this, that you do post photos. This is adorable. So uh, did you dress up your daughter for um, Halloween this year? We did, yes. She was a peacock and I did a no sew um, peacock tutu skirt, which is always a really fun project with tons of tool. And then I felt um, peacock sort of beyond the feathers of the thing. And then we did a headpiece. And of course, I then I just sewed her a tunic and a pair of tights um, using some of my patterns that she can also repurpose because they don't actually look like a peacock if you don't have the skirt and the headband on. So <laughs> it was cute, functional, and of course, it was when we were trick or treating, so you, she had to wear a coat over it, and it was ridiculous. We had oh. like eight inches of snow, so not fun. <laughs> Where? What state are you in again? I'm in Denver, and we had a lot of snow last week. Oh, you so did have a lot. In fact, in Houston. Now. In Houston, it was freezing. Well, freezing on my standards. And then yeah. they actually got snow in Illinois and Michigan, too. I could never. Oh, my word. <laughs> okay, yeah. so that's a good project. You guys can download that. It was a I'm sorry. For some reason, I, we keep walking on each other, so I apologize for that. There's a bit of a delay or a leg, it appears, in the video. Well, at least we didn't go blue. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. So I have to ask and then I'll let you go. But are, are you working on anything special for a home deck for the holidays? I am. So I actually just got the um, new Essence 5200 machine. And so I tested that out last week because I haven't ever had an embroidery hoop bigger than a five by seven. So <laughs> I now have big boy and oh. I'm working on, I did this <laughs> just as a test. Um, I'm going to make you bigger if I can. There we go. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. How big I could make it. So what this is going to be part of, I think, is a new tree skirt because I actually made um, new stockings for this year. And so here's my new, um, stockings. I only have three done and I need to make two more, but I'll get them done. Um, but I actually just yesterday shared this free template on uh, my website and it's using the paper piecing technique where you actually sew the fabric directly to the tissue paper. You can use whatever you want, but, um, so anyway, this is a free down plan is to create a coordinating tree skirt, probably incorporating this embroidery. I haven't actually thought through all that yet. So anyway, so that's what I've been working on, new stockings and a new tree skirt, which will probably, I don't know what I'm making. I don't know how I'm making the skirt, but that's in the work. So <laughs> the stockings are done. That's very cute. And you know, I haven't, I have not tried the paper piecing yet, but it's on my bucket list for this year because quite often I'll add uh, quilting to my garments and everyone said that that's, yes. that's so much easier. My mind doesn't wrap around it yet because I use it. A, I, I do it a different way, but um, it looks so easy. I hope you do a tutorial on that. I did. Yes. So I, I'm not a quilter. And so I love using that technique because I feel like you can make, the sharp quilting points and things that I would never achieve with typical quilting. And then it looks like I know what I'm doing and I really am not a quilter. So I like that you can think, you think that your, your points are perfect every time, even though I am not an exact quilter. So oh, that's works great. Out. Yeah. It's <laughs> so we're looking forward to seeing the projects that you have coming out on the new machine and your, I'm going to put the website up one more time for the blog so they can go see your yes. first garment. Let's see. There it is. Blog.brothersews.com. So you guys can follow her projects even on the blog. If you like uh, a specific thing she's doing, you can look her up by name or look her up by project. She has adorable things. One of these days in the spring, we talked about collaborating on something because she does the cutest little yes. girl thing. 
nieces and I need something for my nieces. So we're going to come up with a combo outfit. So look forward to that this spring sometime. Yes, yes we need to. Well, Emily, thank you so much for joining today. I'm going to go and give them a few little tips for sales, but um, everyone give Emily the love. Tell her <laughs> you can go find her website here. I'm going to bring this up and you can see all of her new projects. And if you have questions, I'm sure she'll answer them. But in the meantime, happy yeah. sewing and go have fun on that skirt. That How long does that skirt take, would you say? How, like if somebody's planning their project? Um, definitely an afternoon, um, a couple hours. It wasn't, it, w it really wasn't so bad. I didn't even hem the edge of the tool. So it was, it was pretty simple once you were sewing the waistband. So yeah, just get yourself organized and um, it, it definitely is not a long project. That's cool. Well, my top isn't very long either. In fact, um, I think my top every day now for the whole next month or, or every other day, these new blog posts will be up on Brother Sews. So mine isn't up yet, but I can tell you a funny story that I was here trying to, cause you know, we sent these off cause they're gonna be professionally photographed. So I had my top on, I'm ready for my photo shoot. My hair's all kind of curled and I'm feeling like somewhat cute other than being in the office where yes. I'm usually in ponytail. And that was the day I caught it on my ring doorbell. So if I can take out the wording that I used when this happened, I will show the video, but I have to mute the video because I was not a happy camper. So it was pouring rain and I heard a crash outside and a trailer that we were unloading stuff from blew into my vehicle. So I go running out in my cute top and pouring rain, 60 mile an hour winds and I'm out there for about 20 minutes and then Wynn shows up. Actually, he just walked in. <laughs> Wynn shows up and says, are you ready for your photos? And I'm like mascara down my face. <laughs> I should have had him take a photo because it would have been a good laugh, but I didn't. I was not in the mood. <laughs> so that was the story behind my photo. And then my top is gone now, but it's going to match your skirt perfectly. Who else? Who's doing the jacket? Is it Laura? That's or not, I mean, I don't know what it is over it, but she's doing something to go with our outfit, right? Yeah. Yes. I think, I think I can't remember if it's a jacket or a bag. You guys will just have to wait and see what happens. But every single one of the brand ambassadors is posting something cool to go with our New Year's Eve project. Yes. So All right, Emily, thank you so much. Thanks for having me. See you guys again later. Come check me out. Bye. You, she has a live Facebook show every week too, don't you? Every week? Yes. Wednesdays at 3 p.m. Eastern. So you can always sew with me then. So you follow. When I hang up, go over to Emily's page. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, I know a number of people do. Just skip a <laughs> Yes. Good timing. All right. Thanks, Emily. All right. Thank you. Hi. Okay, super cute. Her projects are so adorable. And I know one of my sisters, well, I've, actually both my sisters follow her because she does fun, easy projects. So before I let you all go, I just want to show you, I always try to find out what the good deals are for a little while. Now, if you were at Houston Quilt Fest last week, you got some crazy good deals. But this is what you have coming up. So here's the free holiday project. You'll see this flyer. It, again, it's Brother Sews. Let me bring the banner up so you can make sure that you have this. It's brothersews.com forward slash holiday jumper. And this is the project. Very, very, very cute. And I think there's one more here with sales. Let me make sure I got the right one. I don't. I'll find the right one. Hold on a second. <laughs> Here it is. Okay, back up. This is the specials from November 8th to 18th. There's special financing available and you get with the Stellaire, which is behind me, which I just finished doing unboxing videos for you. And I'm also working on getting ready to show how to use the app. I have my um, little iPod. You can also, which by the way, iPod is no relation to brother but I, you could also put the app on your phone or your tablet. So it doesn't have to be that. I had that question so many times this week. Uh, but anyways, you get that free with your purchase 
anytime between November 8th and 18th. So there's been a lot of questions on what's new, what's different. A uh, couple of things that I worked on this week at Holiday or Holiday Houston Quilt Fest is the couching. So I know we've talked about the couching that's in the upgrade for the Luminaire for embroidery, but there's also couching for sewing. And I'm going to just go grab that foot here. Hold on one sec. I think it's, hold on. Okay, so there is a foot and I'll just hold it up so you can see and I'll try to put my, I don't know if it's better to put my hand or a piece of paper. Let's try this. How's that? There's a hole right here, an itty bitty hole in that plastic. So this actually goes on your move it foot. And I had so much fun with this this weekend. In the Luminaire upgrade kit, there's two different pieces here. We talked about this with Cindy last week and now I've actually had an opportunity to play with it. One is for the embroidery and one is for the sewing. It just snaps on the side of the machine. So when you do that, the one piece that I already threw away, which accidentally, of course, I know. So if you did this, don't feel bad because I accidentally throw a lot of things away. But you know, there's a little metal, I don't know what you'd call it, thingamajig <laughs> that you put the yarn through to get it through this hole. So I'm just going to tell you right now, if you threw yours away, no worries. I went and bought a bunch of things for it that you floss your teeth with. It works perfect. So no worries. So I'll be showing a couple of videos on that, but this actually hooks to the Move It foot and you can sew with couching. And I have tested four different widths of yarn so far. It turns out beautifully. And uh, let's see what else. Somebody asked me a few tips on that. Um, a few tips, just quick running ones that I'll show demos for later, is if you sew with a zigzag stitch with this, if you lengthen the zigzag stitch, it will make your yarn puffier, a little bit loftier, I guess I should say. And if it's too tight, then all you see are the stitches. So when you're doing this with the sewing feature, I'm not talking about the embroidery, but the sewing, you will use a zigzag stitch and lengthen the length. So that's your tip for the day. All right, well, it was fun having Emily on. We'll be having all the guests on for, for the brand ambassadors, showing off what they're working on. Follow the Brother blog because there's a new project every, I think it's every other day, but I'm not sure. The whole month of November, let's just leave it at that. Leave questions. I always love to read your comments. And tomorrow I will be live here for the usual behind the scenes live. And I will talk to you then. And I hope <laughs> yarn threader. Thanks, Marcy. I should have looked. I don't, it's not really called a yarn threader though. It's a little piece of metal something. Watch him a jiggy. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's your word for the day. <laughs> Watch him a jiggy. No affiliation with brother, of course. <laughs> so you guys have a great day. I can't wait to see what you're working on. I know a ton of you bought new machines. I hope you're getting them out of the box, moving them around, getting ready for the holidays. And I am going to work on a project that I will show you tomorrow. So have a great day. Thanks for watching everyone. And don't forget to visit your brother dealer for the Luminaire upgrade and the specials going on. So you guys are great. See ya.